Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tyler's Tech. Today we're doing a first impressions video on Solus Gnome. So let's just load up the web page there and have a look. So they do their budgie, which is I think is their default, which I've shown on the channel before, and also Mate or Mate, however you want to say it. So we've got this one here. So let's have a look at it. So if we just minimise that, you have your sort of your dock to the left, which always stays there. And then your applications here, frequent and all, much like most GNOME environments. So, and then you've got your software center, which has a third party setting for things that they don't package themselves in their own store. Um, so, I've installed Spotify and Skype, the beta, I think it's just basically like a web app. Um, yeah, so what do we come with out of the box? So out of the box it comes with that's um you'll have to ignore the few of these, these are uh Chrome web apps. So you got your calendar which syncs with all your online accounts, you've got your files manager. Let's just take a quick look at the file manager. that for the views yeah change the view okay all right let's just leave that down there I'm just trying to see if I can get in a belt set there we go so this is just a files app Nothing too exciting there. I believe it's got a tabbed interface. Yeah, tabbed interface. And you've got your Google account there. So let's keep going. So it comes with Firefox, GNOME. Did it come with GNOME? I think it came with GNOME. I might have installed GNOME. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it would have came with it. No movie player. Rhythm box for your music. Uh, that's um, a Chrome web app, that team viewer as well. Uh, text editor, terminal, okay. So if we open up the settings, and then you just got your basic settings view here. Uh, let's have a look at the backgrounds it comes with. I've installed this background myself. But out of the box it comes with... Not a bad selection really. Not bad selection. We're going to leave it with that one for now, though. So the icons it's using. Um, let's have a look at what the icons are. So if we go into let's have a look. Hmm. So you got your notifications, privacy, region, language, personal, color, display. Um, okay. Obviously, I've got um, two monitors at the moment. We're only recording the first one, though. The main one. Um, okay, we'll have a look at icons and stuff later once I know what I'm doing with this. Right, so if you, it's got a hot corner up here, so if you just hover your mouse up here. I'll load this up with your applications here and then your desktop switches here. And what's good about Solus's implementation is that it comes with your minimize, your maximize and your and your close buttons, which is always always annoys me a bit with certain known things because it's it's just not very intuitive, is it? It's just a bit hard to navigate without them there. No one wants to jump up here every time and, 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 and whatever else. People just want to click minimize. So, I've installed Steam. Uh, I've had a little. Uh, and there's a tweak tool, so we can have a look at the icons quickly. So, the icons are Papyrus. Comes with Mocha. Mocha's my favourite. There we go, we'll use Mocha. 
always like a bit of mocha. Okay, right. So if we open up Steam, add me if you if you fancy. I'm not too bothered. Okay, so I don't think I've got many games downloaded. We can have a look at CSGO because that's just updating and then we can check that out while it's doing that. So if you just want to type anywhere from the desktop, it doesn't do anything. But if you hit the Windows key or your super key or whatever and then start typing, say, Rhythm, load up. Oh, it also pulls your calendar. So if I type in theory, there you go. So on the 29th, I've got my theory test and it also searches my calendar entries for things like that. So I'm sure that will do documents as well. So if we just type in GIMP, GIMP should come up. And then if you hit enter, load GIMP up. So there we go. While we're there, if we just take a quick screenshot. That should load up somewhere. How does the screenshots load? Let's type in screen. Screenshot. Right, let's just do it like this then. So if we take a shot. There we go, and we want this one here. Oh, it's just taken both of them, is it? Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so it's taken them both like that side by side so that's what we're looking at at the moment so we'll just close GIMP I was just gonna make a quick thumbnail for the YouTube but we'll do that later so it comes with LibreOffice Writer I'm not sure what version we'll have a quick look um, help uh, about so we've got version 5.4 which you can get your ribbon on or whatever else I leave it like that that looks fine for me okay so let's see if that's finished updating right load this up I'm not sure how it's gonna feel with recording at the same time but we'll have a look So it's running on um, a Ryzen 5 1600X and an RX 480 with 8 gig RAM DDR4. I'm going to do a whole sort of video on on how certain Linux operating systems play well with Ryzen or not. I've only re I think I've got Ryzen for a couple of weeks now, and I do mean to do a video on it. So let's just open up a dust quickly. Us too. So I've not updated drivers or anything yet, so we're just gonna see how it runs now. My internet's running a bit slow at the minute. Right, so when it's watching other people, it's flickering 80, 100. I think we've probably got everything set to high as well. Okay. But not great. I mean, on on my windows partition on this I get you know like 300 FPS so uh, yeah not great but then again I haven't fiddled with graphics drivers or anything like that uh, 
and I'm not sure why, but on 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 any Linux, when I'm playing, my frame rate's a lot higher than when we're watching other people's. Hurry up. Right, it's going to be hard to actually play because I've got my mic in front of me and everything, but I just want to check something out. Just do a quick P90 rush. So we're on uh, flickering at about around 100 and 120 mark. I can feel the lag. Yeah, internet's lagging crazy. There you go. <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to check out the um, frame rate there. So, not great. I'm going to fiddle around with that before I try and play on this partition. But it works, which is the main thing. So if we just... Actually, we'll leave that open and we'll open up a system monitor. So it's a six core processor, I'm guessing this is all the threads. Twelve. Not twelve, three, six, nine, twelve, yeah. So memory we're quite high actually, two point one out of eight, no swaps being used. So it's a bit high. But we have got a few things open with Steam and we've just recording with OBS as well, so Right, let's quit that. Let's have a quick look at the terminal. I don't think there's going to be much to see here. Right. Yeah, okay. And then you've got your Thunderbird for your mail. I won't open that up because it'll pop open all of my emails. So what I might do is I don't like the hot corner being there I prefer to just click that and I'd rather have a hot corner down here that spreads the windows or something so if I go back into settings or would it be tweak it probably be tweak um, desktop I mean I would have thought this has got hot corners Okay, Just let me think. So when I typed in hot corners, bring me to that. No, maybe you can't. Um, no, maybe you can't, or maybe you can, and I'm just not finding it. But normally, what I'd like is that function to be down here because there's nothing to do down here. But I'll look into that. But anyway, so this is going to be my new sort of daily driver on my Linux partition for a while till I find something a bit better. What I like about Solus is that it starts up really quickly. I think it's built almost from scratch. I mean, don't quote me on that. Let's have a look. But it does. It's probably one of the quicker ones for me to boot in on that I've found. Okay, I might just be completely making that up. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.